Some of the tumbling can be applied to the uneven parallel bars. However, additional fundamentals should be learned. Chalk or carbonated magnesia is necessary to give a dry, safe grip. There are three grips to be used on the bars, the overgrip, the undergrip, and the mixed grip. One of the easiest ways to mount a bar is the hip pullover. Start with an overgrip, lift both legs up and over the bar, and end in a support position with arms straight, head up, and back slightly arched. Good form requires that the toes should be pointed whenever the feet are free. The next mount to be learned is the single knee swing up. Swing both legs upward, squat one leg through, end in a single knee support position. A more difficult mount, but a very important one, is the glide kip. Watch it again in slow motion. Glide. Kip. Stand at about arm's length from the lower bar. Jump, grab the bar, and raise the legs in front. Note that from now on, the arms and legs must remain straight. Now glide forward and straighten out by extending the hips upward. Quickly snap the ankles up to the bar, then shoot them upward and outward as the body swings up to a support position. In order to understand the movement in a kip, try it on the floor using a pole to represent the bar. Keeping the arms and legs straight, hold the bar close to the ankles. Now bring the bar up the legs, always keeping it close to the legs. Watch the glide kip again in slow motion. And now at normal speed. There are many ways to circle a bar. To mention a few, the knee circle, crouch circle or leg circle, seat circle, and hip circle. Of course, these can all be done forward or backward. The hip circle is widely used in competition with many variations. It is usually begun from the upper bar. Note that although the height of the bars is fixed and should not be changed, the lower bar may be moved in or out to fit the individual. Swing gently and wrap the legs around the bar. Be sure to keep the body straight until you feel the bar. If you bend too soon, it could result in bruised hips. Bending the legs as you touch the bar will help to absorb the shock. After the timing is right, try the full circle with one leg Push off hard. As the legs wrap around, let go of the top bar and grab the lower bar. End in a front support. A more advanced variation is to follow the hip circle with an eagle catch. If you're a beginner, you won't be trying this for a while. Dismounts are just as numerous as mounts. Some of the basic dismounts are forward roll, little drop, and big drop. And just for fun, here is a very advanced dismount called a hect.
we've only shown a few of the fundamental moves of gymnastics other moves